Okay, you guys know who I am. I'm that Miata or Zayden Bras. We just picked up wheels and I decided I'm actually gonna do a little sneaky video on YouTube because I've really been wanting to get into it. So let's get into it. Okay, uh, kick the wheels off. Now, as a safety measure, because I'm insanely paranoid, I slip my tire and wheel underneath the first there. If it falls, it doesn't kill me and crush me. Okay, so now that we got the wheel off, we're gonna put the spacer on. Now we're gonna go and pick up all of our bolts, which are all down here. Ah, uh, no, these were $45 spacers I got off of eBay with free sipping. Now, I cannot complain whatsoever about this because these guys were absolutely amazing for the price. The problem we ran in yesterday is we didn't have a socket that could actually fit into the spacers. No problem today, I went and tried to buy one. Well, the store didn't have them, no problem. We made one that fits. So we sanded down all the edges in this. They're nice and fits. It's a little bit sharp and kind of painful if you, you know, step on it or something, but it'll fit in the car. So let's get into that. Alrighty, so we got this guy. So you can see this fits lovely into that hole. Look at that, that is money money baby so let's take this off and just like that we got it taken off and put back on we use a little bit of loctite when you're doing spacers like this super important to put a little bit of loctite on the studs and then screw it down and let it sit for 24 hours and nice and cure so we'll hopefully be able to drive this by tomorrow in theory that should be the date now little tip that i use when you try to tighten this down as you can see it's going to spin it, it, ah. when you tighten this down it's going to spin that little tip i do is i put a screwdriver into these notches right up here and then when it tries to spin, it can't spin and you can tighten it down safely. And these are the new wheels. Don't know if you guys have seen them on YouTube, they're truly such beautiful wheels. They're off of an old Datsun 280ZX Turbo, which is kind of cool because they're going up in value. So they're nice semi-rare rare wheels. The Miata. You know, my sentences probably aren't making sense right now because I'm focusing on the wheel. I apologize. Ha, <sighs> ah, see fish. There we go. Oh, that's gonna look good, boys. Minty. Now it's the same old process of screwing this on. This is oh so much fun. Now that we got the wheel mostly tightened on, you know, it's still a little bit of play, but ugh, not gonna go anywhere. Now we're gonna lower the car, and don't worry, you do do the store pattern, you go from here to here to here to here. You know, nice store, it's easier if you have five spoke wheels or a five lug nut wheels, but with four by 100, you can still go into your star. But you gotta lower the car down to get it nice and tight, so let's get into that. Just like that, we got the wheel on, looking really good. I'm happy with that. I'm excited to take this out for a drive. Everything is torqued down to the proper specs. I definitely need Merlot. Yes, I know. I'm also doing a wide body kit, so this will only look like this for a couple months. I needed a light because this side of the car is super, super dark, and the motion light only hits one side. So I went and stole the light from the inside of the garage. Uh, it won't be missed. And now we're gonna tighten this guy down. We just put brand new batteries in it. And then you guys will be able to see this because out there you legitimately can't see anything on that side of the car. It is just pitch black. And since I'm filming this, I need you guys to be able to see everything I'm doing. Because if what if the car, you know, falls on me? That's good content. You need to be able to see that. So we're just barely done tightening this down. And I it's still tightened, so let's get into it. Now this is super simple. We're just gonna really want to lubricate these guys and just soak everything in WD-40. Now you might go, Zayden, that's too much WD-40. I'ma say to you, no, you can never have too much WD-40. I want to be bathed in WD-40 after this video. I'm gonna fill up my bathtub with WD-40 and I'm gonna bathe in WD-40. Anyway, I'm a nice oily boy. I like to keep everything lubricated. <sighs> okay, this is just... <sighs> you know what? We got a plan for this. Super sketchy tire. Break apart. Okay. So I'm gonna put this guy on. Take the jack handle. Nope. Wrong side. Put it into there. Put this guy down to here. And then break this. Ugh, there you go. And that's how you do that. Okay, and now it's just rinse and repeat. I grabbed the yogurt mat so that way I'm not having to lay down in the grass covered in WD-40. And now it's time to jack. Off camera, we broke all of the lug nuts so the wheels should come off nicely. 
this is totally safe. Oh, this is so safe. Does anyone see how the jack is? Let's not worry about it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Awesome. This is pretty good. This is where I want it to be. Yes, I know this isn't the right tool. Calm down. Off. So now we should be able to go. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So once again, I'm paranoid. Because I'm paranoid, I put my wheel underneath it. There are the cartridge involved. Another good thing. Now this one is less important since all the wheels aren't except for this one. But you always want to... See how that moves zero? Zero movement. You always want to give the car a nice good push whenever you jack it up. So when you go underneath it, it does its feel. Continuing to put this guy on. This is probably going to be the best camera angle I can get. Also, I apologize. Took off my hat. I probably look really, really bad. Again, give everything a nice good sake before you get underneath the car. Make sure it's not going to fall and completely demonetize you. And then take this guy. Line it up. Now, a little thing that I do before I put spacers on is I take a Scotch pad. Oh, I don't know where it went. I'm super sorry about that. Take a Scotch pad and I wipe down my OEM bolts lugs, everything, anything that screws together, anything that I can access, I wipe down either with brake cleaner, paper towels, or even a Scotch pad if it has super bad rust. And that way it's just kind of like preventative maintenance. It allows me to be able to get this stuff on and not have to worry about other problems. So if something breaks, I know it's just these. If you're still watching this, let me say here. Let's go green and red. Green and red. Comment down below green and red if you're still watching this because uh, you would be a G if you're still watching this after I'm rambling on. Now for a first YouTube video, don't think this is too bad. If my motion light would stop turning off, that'd be a lot better. But hopefully we'll be in the garage in a month or so. We'll have a nice garage and we won't have to do everything out in the driveway. And just like that, we got this wheel on. Now we're gonna have one more to do. Yes, my coil loop is definitely not even. This one's at least, yeah, this is a two finger and the other side is definitely a three finger. -er. So now we just gotta do the right, rear one. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. I'm sure you guys have been waiting for. This is the last wheel. Now we just gotta lower it with the jack and then we will be golden. I'm so excited. Oh, let's go. Gotta step on the jack, lower it. Okay, so I know to some of you guys, this is just gonna be wheels, but to me, this is absolutely amazing to see how good my car looks with wheels. Now really, this style is exactly what I wanted. I wanted that classic JDM drag car, and wow, does this look have it. This is so amazing. Only one downside. Alrighty, so here's the front left. And as you can see, this looks pretty decent, you know, like normal stock ride height. So let's test it. Got three fingers right there. Now we are over to the right side, and let's take a look at how many fingers we can fit here. Nope. Ooh, nope. Oh yeah, he barely wants to fit two fingers. That's a finger and a half right there. Well, these coils definitely aren't adjusted. But that's another video for another time. I cannot get over how good these look. We definitely need more low. That's with no low. That's with a lot of low. It looks a thousand times better with low, but I think Beller is really coming along. And I gotta say, these wheels, something that we were able to do today, they look really good. Okay, but for real, Bella's looking amazing. I'm so happy with all the progress we were able to get done in Bella. These wheels are a game changer. Really, these wheels make the car look a thousand times different. Like, this is a brand new car. And again, real thank you to you guys for watching. I know this video is a little bit cringy. It's my first time ever doing a YouTube video. Most TikToks that I do are about 60 seconds, so that's as long as we can go. We will be moving and reviewing your rides to YouTube, but that'll happen in the next month. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and stay focused.